Hi, I'm Katie Ziskind. I own Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic, Connecticut. You can learn more about working with myself or our team for counseling over here at wisdomwithinct.com. We help anxious children, depressed teenagers, and distant couples thrive. I'm here with my one of my dogs, Blondie, and she will sometimes join in on sessions if you come in person. And we're gonna go over some tips for couples. So in this video, you're gonna get three tips. If you're in a distant relationship, uh, fighting, struggling to connect, um, deeply wanting to be together, but finding that there are these massive arguments along the way, leaving you feeling hopeless, frustrated, jealous, betrayed, hurt, emotionally in pain. Um, and your relationship doesn't have to be emotionally painful. You can, in fact, communicate in a healthy way and feel loved during that process. Um, so whether they're stressors about in-laws, parenting, childcare, um, or even major losses or traumas that have occurred, um, those things can really create challenges in your marriage and in your relationship. So um, this video is going to go over three tips. So number one, is to notice criticism. It's super, super easy. What I see it every day where couples just shift into criticism because they're feeling hurt, upset, angry. Um, they want to get that negative jab in, but it never actually creates positive communication. It might feel good in the moment to jab your partner, you know, put them in their place or one up them or even criticize some part of their character, but that is not effective. It does much more damage than good. So my tip number one is to notice criticism. Notice when you switch to a you statement, you don't, you always um, you imagine yourself pointing and you have three fingers pointing back at yourself, one finger pointing to someone else. So always share, we reframe to I feel statements. So three fingers pointing back at yourself, switch to I feel versus you never, you always. I feel sad when, I feel scared when, I feel abandoned when much more effective than criticism and if you get struck if you get stuck criticizing your partner or you feel criticized um, therapy can be majorly beneficial tip number two is to notice defensiveness defensiveness is a method of negative communication um, where you're constantly on the offense so you're constantly trying to you know if you think about a soccer game you're trying to kick that soccer ball away from your goal um, get that soccer ball out of the goal. So there's this force, there's this uh, kind of fierceness, the defensiveness, and it can cause your partner to shut down. It can cause you to shut down. Usually when we notice defensiveness, we're watching for stonewalling, which is your partner stopping speaking, not talking, the ignoring, the silent treatment. Um, so notice defensiveness and instead we want to uh, be gentle with what we're saying. So notice your tone. If your partner's defensive or if you're defensive, you know, that wall is being built. Um, and so we're losing touch with heart energy or in touch, you know, we're not in touch with each other anymore. So to notice defensiveness, um, speak gently, speak softly with your tone um, and really be nurturing. Realize that you and your partner are on the same team. Um, also, number three um, is to notice when there is blame. So blame never gets anyone anywhere. Usually underneath blame, we have hurt and betrayal and all of these huge emotions, neglect, feeling unwanted, feeling unimportant. So when there's blame, there's usually some deeper emotion that couples therapy can help you pinpoint and express and verbalize and kind of shift into effectively communicating your wants and needs. Um, but when there's negative communication, we see blame so often. And so the biggest thing is to really just tune in, notice when you're blaming, notice when you can take ownership and accountability. And that will help to um, ensure your partner can hear what you're trying to communicate. Because if you're constantly in the blame mode, um, the blame game never really gets couples to feel closer. It creates more emotional distance. So if you're looking to rebuild playfulness, emotional intimacy, improve better communication, and just meaningful connection, our team of marriage and family therapists at Wisdom Within Counseling would love to help you. Um, I would love to help you personally, or we can get you set up with someone on our team here. Um, but we would really just love to help you 
connect to the joy that you once had together, um, whether it's going through loss of a loved one, infertility, growing your family, um, struggling with money, you know, whatever those stressors or triggers are, let us help you learn to communicate in a calm, meaningful, and intimate manner um, so that you can have playfulness back in your marriage again. Um, so you can book your free phone consultation to get started at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdom within ct.com. I'm Katie Ziskind, the owner of Wisdom Within Counseling, and I would love to help you build the marriage of your dreams.